Hello everyone. Today we'll find minimum spanning tree with classical algorithm. Classical algorithm is implemented with disjoint sets. So my previous video on disjoint sets is a prerequisite for this video. In previous video we have talked about disjoint set and how it operates. But we haven't talked about how disjoint sets can be useful. Today we'll use disjoint set to find the minimum spanning tree of a graph. What is minimum spanning tree? Say this is the graph that we have. It has a bunch of vertices and a bunch of edges. Each edge has a weight. The minimum spanning tree is a subset of edges that connects all the vertices in the graph and has minimum total weight. So in this case, the minimum spanning tree is CF, AF, and AB, because they connect all the vertices in the graph, and they have the minimum total weight. So the problem we want to solve is, given a graph with weighted edges, find its minimum spanning tree. Today we'll use classical algorithm to find the minimum spanning tree and classical algorithm utilizes disjoint sets. Recall that disjoint sets has two operations, find and union. Find will take an item and return the disjoint set that item belongs to, and union will merge the two disjoint sets of these two items into one disjoint set. So now let's talk about the classical algorithm. We define A. A is used to store all the edges of the minimum spanning tree. So initially A is empty and eventually will return A. Then for each vertex of the graph, make a disjoint set with that vertex. So each vertex will be used to create a single vertex disjoint set. And then sort all the edges by weight increasingly. So the edge with smallest weight will be in the front, and the edges with biggest weight will be in the end. And then for each edge that connects V1 and V2, the smallest edge will be taken first. If the disjoint set of V1 is not the same as the disjoint set of V2, then we push that edge into A, and then merge the disjoint sets of V1 and V2 into one disjoint set. Now let's use this example of graph to walk through the algorithm. First, we take the edge with smallest weight, which is CF. And since C and F do not belong to the same disjoint set, so we go ahead and merge them and push the edge into A. And next one is AF, which has the weight of 2. And again, A and F do not belong to the same disjoint sets, so merge them and push them into A. Next is DE. DE do not belong to the same disjoint set, merge and push to the A. Next one is CD. Note that CFA belong to the same disjoint set and DE belong to the same disjoint set. So C and D do not belong to the same set. So again, merge them and push to A. Next one is FE. Now AF, C, D, E all belong to the same set. So FE belong to the same set. So we should not push this edge into A. Next one is AB. And AB do not belong to the same set, so merge and push. Now we have a spanning tree that connects all the vertices, and we believe this spanning tree has the minimum total weight. Now let's look at our code. Our graph is represented with a vector of vertices, and a vector of edges. An edge is modeled with two vertices that the edge connects and a weight. 
In the main function, I create a graph, and its vertices contains A, B, C, D, E, F. And it has all the edges that connects the vertices. Essentially, I'm creating a graph like this. And then I call the function classical with the graph as its parameter. This will use classical algorithm to find the minimum spanning tree. This is the data structure of disjoint set. We use parent to record the parental relationship between the vertices, and use rank to record the depth of the tree. Remember, the purpose of the rank is to flatten the tree so that we have better performance of the find function. The find function and the union function are the same function that we talked about last time. We have added another function called make set, which will take one vertex and make a single vertex disjoint set, and initialize its rank to zero. This is a classical function that implements classical algorithm. First, we create A. A is a vector of edge, and A will be used to store all the edges of the minimum span tree. And then we take each vertex of the graph and make it a single vertex disjoint set. And then sort all the edges according to their weight. And then take each edge, find the root of its first vertex, find the root of its second vertex, and if root 1 and root 2 are not the same root, we push the edge into A and then call union root 1 and root 2. This will merge the disjoint set of vertex 1 and vertex 2 into one disjoint set. So by the end of this loop, we'll find the minimum spanning tree of the graph. Let's print out uh, the minimum spanning tree and run the program. So, this is the minimum spanning tree computed by our classical function. And it's the same result as what we have manually computed. Now let's consider what's the complexity of this algorithm. The sorting will take the complexity of E times of log E. And this is and since we have used the rank to flatten the tree, we can assume both find and union to be very fast. So the performance of this algorithm is dominated by the sort algorithm. That's all for today. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out the other videos I have. Bye-bye.